to go into multiplayer LAN. And I'm going to run this sample script here. And I want to run through this. I want to talk about uh, how this is working in the map. Alright, so the first thing the first thing you could do when you click on you click on your actor, he's running through the NCO he ran through the uh, NCO file and that was his one liner and then these are the the uh, re uh, answer return tags here these are the answer return tags and the first option here find whatever I'll look into it this will uh, this will return a value of 1 which will tell the script that I had created for this actor that um, the quest was accepted but I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, decline this quest and show I'm gonna go inside the house here And uh, when I click on him, he's going to uh, he's going to run the line for um, someone who has not received the quest. So I don't have a quest here just yet. So I'm going to talk to him, and he just has a one-liner, and that's it. So I'm going to go back and get my quest from this individual. accept this quest. I'm going to go find whatever. I'll take it. And now I got a message in console. Quest log has been updated. So essentially the NCO file returned the value of 1 which told the script that I created to add this quest. So now when you look down here both of these values are from the NLS file and they were defined in the, uh, the quest files NQD file. So that's a so this is run by an NQD file. So I'm going to go in. Uh, oh yeah, and now when I talk to him after I've already accepted the quest, he says something different now. So that was that was running the quest accepted um, conversation. So now when I go in here. He's going to have a different line for when uh, the quest was accepted. So now he says something different. And now you have two options. Now note that this first one has a return value of 1, which tells the script to finalize the quest. And I'm going to show, I'm going to show both of them here. I'm going to just choose th this second option, where the player hasn't accepted ending the quest yet. So the player hasn't accepted the ending of this quest, so it's still active. And I haven't received the experience. Currently I got 55,000 ex experience, and the quest is worth 10,000. So I'm going to go and, and I'm going to conclude this quest now, and show that it gives 10,000 experience. So now the quest is concluded. And when a quest concludes, you get the icon. And I, I uh, took a uh, turret sky icon here for the Bigfoot, and I got the 10,000 experience. So now I'm at 65,000 experience. So when I talk to him again, he has a different conversation for the when uh, the uh, quest is concluded. And when I go out here and talk to this guy, he had a different statement. So that's how those uh, custom codex linker scripts work. Um, you can use them for your quest, and uh, they should simplify um, the uh, work you do in creating um, creating conversations and quests 
for your maps um, and embrace. So uh, if you're not familiar with Java, um, these scripts could come in handy. Um, I'll make more scripts of various kinds um, later on when uh, when the demand is high enough. Um, I'm not too sure how many people are interested in making actual functioning conversations and quests in their um, their maps, uh, given how old this game is. But uh, it's there if you want it. Uh, so that. That concludes this tutorial and the explanation of those Codex Linker scripts. So you can check them out um, at emods.net. Go into the Open Nod development, and you can download the newest scripts um, and and just take their class files and put them into the Codex directory of the main Vampire um, the Masquerade Redemption folder, and then you can use them in Embrace for whatever you want to do. And I explained the files that it calls and how it calls them, so hopefully hopefully you'll be able to understand how to use those Codex Linker uh, scripts um, to add some conversations. So, hope you enjoyed this, uh, this pretty well-loaded uh, tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, you can go to emods.net forum and uh, and ask him there. So, alright. That's the end of this tutorial. Uh, signing out.